I'm Rocky. This is my husband Kimball, and in today's video we're exploring the amazing sights of Antwerp. From quirky sculptures, exquisite chocolate shops, and the most stunning train station we've ever seen, every stop is a feast for the eyes in this stunning Belgian metropolis. So hit that subscribe button, join our quirky community, and let's turn every video into a mini vacation. So let's get up and go, it's just you and me again. Good morning. Here we are. Good morning. Good morning. We are here in Antwerp next to some statues. It's the Jesus. Praise it. And we are basically walking <laughs> through well, we don't know what we're doing, to be honest. We got some coffees and we're just walking around. It's about 9 a.m. Wait, 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 wait. I planned the day all the way up until about 11. Okay, I stand corrected. Kimball has planned out. Let's go to the footage of what Kimball's planned. Oh, we can skip this. We, no, we don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like not thrilled about how I put in 20 minutes of effort. Basically, up until breakfast time. Obviously, there's lots of things we can do in between. Obviously, it's a Saturday, so nothing is opening early. Okay. So. I tried to do it like in a line because I didn't want to like wander all over. So, okay. Like we wander off to wherever. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, because there's going to be buildings and structures and all that stuff. But coffee is already open, so we can get coffee. And we can go here, 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 here. And it's only like four or five places. One was a chocolate shop. And it was confusing because they're like, this is the best chocolate shop ever. And it was like Nelly. And then, like, then there was another one nearby and it was like a little bit better rating. And I was like, which one is it? And then, like, they both had the same storefront. And then I was really confused. You see, like, the storefront, like, right here, and it says Belgian chocolates. So I think a lot of people thought that was the name. Uh -huh. Then you look at the very top of the building and it says Nelly. Goody yum yum. So that's the thing we do at 9 30. So we walk, in, walk really slowly over to that place. <laughs> There's a giant hand statue. It's on the way. <laughs> It's dark. <laughs> you can't prove it to me! Okay, great. Well, thanks for planning. Yeah, I try. Okay. So right. let's go do that. I put like 15 minutes into this, okay? Wow, so, you guys. So you know it's going to be a great morning. You know it's going to be a ace holiday when Kimball's in charge of planning. This vlog is going to get so many likes. So we just happened upon this place called the Chocolate Line, which is apparently a really famous chocolatier here. And I think it's him and his son. And it's beautiful. And it's crazy inside. They have really interesting sculptures of different things. They had a sculpture from Coco. They had a Frida. From, yeah, they had a reindeer in there. Whoa. Oh, they had the birth of Venus. Yeah, they had there's just so many. They had Chucky in there, and the, just the decor. They had murals all over all the walls, and just gorgeous chandeliers. Yeah, and, I mean. What an incredibly beautiful shop. Oh my God, if you want chocolate and an experience, that's the place to go. We keep coming across all these really pretty fountains and none of them are on because it's winter time, so that's kind of a shame. But also, Kimball, don't even think about it. So we're on one of the main shopping streets. We think it's pronounced Mir, it's like M-E-I-R. And it's just all the same shops you would normally have. So it's, they've got like a Uniqlo and a Cotton Club and a Foot Locker and a Pullin' Bear and JD training shoes place hema but the buildings are also pretty they've got so many details in wood and marble and stone and it's really gorgeous i do think variety is the spice of life oh kimball well done oh, thank you there's just even when you're in a place like this it's so touristy there's just so many interesting things to see like even in the Foot Locker, they've got this really cool mural look i love it I, 
Guy Maisie place, they should have their tagline be, you're going to shoot your eye out. Whatever, I think it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, they have a little stadium seating going up and around. So if you order coffee from this place here, you can basically sit on this little thing that goes up and around. Wow, this ceiling is gorgeous. It's like picture frames from Michael's and times like thousands. Done. this to that. Hey everybody, let's go to the train station. Come on. So, come on. so we just came to the central station here and it is absolutely massive and gorgeous. We need to go inside and see what they're hiding in there. There's so many details and levels and there's a giant dome on top. It's like, it's definitely one of the prettiest train stations I've seen. Kimball's not sure yet. We have to go in and look. I mean, I don't really look at train stations, so it's pretty. You don't look at them like you look at men? What if you did? What would, it, what would that look be? Let's go inside and find out. So we came up to the platform. Look how massive this open space is here. And the train's way, way down there. It is so pretty here. Every, I'm like, can you imagine getting here? And this is the first thing you see when you get off the train is this giant entrance into the train station. It's a nice thing you want to do our next trip all by train. And there's a hand here that's also a dove, I think. Yes. Sculptor Jan Schuffen. How cute. It reminds me of back in the day when you did Thanksgiving and you had to make the little turkey hand. I said, I can't hear you, shit. Well, this was a very fun and unexpected surprise. We had no idea this was here. And now we have the fun task of emergent poop for Kimball. He's I mean, been holding it in. It's gone for now, so I don't know. But he's held it in like twice. And you guys know you only have like three or four times before it's just gonna... So we need to find the restroom. It's way over there. Do you think you can hold it? If not, it's good content regardless. So Kimball doesn't like to poop in public, especially when it's explosive. Private pooper. Hi, bro. Get ready for a floral tastic brunch. Mm, yum. Can bless it poop. We're not talking about it. Okay. Guys, there are little tiny hearts in the actual waffle. And then Kimmel got this beet root, and I think the beets are in the shape of hearts. Mm -hmm. So this was 1950, I think, euros. And then yours was 1850, I think. And then the lattes, I think, were 650. Expensive breakfast. Okay, so let's talk about that place. So. Kimball really liked his. His was kind of a sweeter one with beets and things like that. Um, mine was fine. I felt like it was a perfect portion for Kimball because his stomach's yeah. the size of a banana. I feel like some of the ingredient combinations are just kind of funky and like don't necessarily vibe. But also I think my biggest thing about it, it was it was 48 euros for yeah. two meals and two coffees. It just felt like 15 euros too expensive to me. But like, that's what I was saying is that I knew it was gonna be expensive, but yes, it's more for like Instagram, vlogging, that kind of thing, because it's a very cute shop. Yeah, which we're not normally into, but we were like, just one time. Let's try it while we're here. I don't <laughs> regret doing it. I just probably wouldn't go again. Did you even me. vlog anything in there? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I don't know about the 
chocolates, but what is this? How cute. You guys, I was just flipping through that little book and I literally got teary-eyed. <laughs> so the dog that's in, the dog and the boy, what is that story about? It's based on two characters from the book, Nello and Patrash. Nello is the orphan boy uh, and he used to work for his father and then he got a dog named Patrash. Okay. Then his father died, so then he became an orphan. And then from what I remember, he goes like in the cathedral and he sees a painting. The story goes either he dies like in front of the cathedral like in the cold he freezes to death the boy does in in the dog and the dog oh yeah. how lovely it's just in time for christmas oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, i love that so he his dad dies and then he goes to the cathedral and he dies in the cold outside i love that <laughs> merry christmas everyone the story seriously has me getting all teary eyed it's so sad Wasn't mean. If it was, I would. Scream. Is this the right door? No, wrong door. So we came to Rose, which is a coffee place, and they had on their doors to explore our uh, cellar, our cave. So we're in here. It's really cute. Very short ceilings. So yeah, now we're heading back upstairs to get our coffees. Cute. Oh. oh my God! Seriously, can't get enough. All right, Kim, we'll just back up the stairs. Go ahead. You got this. What is wrong? Feeling nervous? Always. They have a little map right here. It's where you're from, so Kimmel's pretty nice. Little. Right on Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho map. And of course it's orange. Good job. Yay. This guy reminds me of the people that like do the same selfie over and over again. Can we look at her check out my mouth? I mean you want me to? Why are you doing it like that? Why you gotta be like that? Okay, thanks. So we talked to the lady that works there and we said, oh, we went to the roast in Rotterdam. She's like, oh yeah. And I said, I didn't know it was a chain. She goes, it's not. And I was all, oh, okay. She's like, we're not the same at all. Well, I was like, oh, okay. We have nothing to do with them. But she said she wants to go and try it out sometime. And I was like, they're better than you. Their coffees were bigger. Just kidding. No, they were good. The cookie was divine. I don't know if I should go so far as divine. The cookie was good. The coffee's really good too. And there's a cookie on the the cookie you almost had a terrible day. It's better now, isn't it? Mmm, yummy. Butter cookie. It's kind of like those tins of cookies you get, you know, the big round tin. Mm -hmm. of the Grandmas inside. have them. And they turn them into selling kids later. It's the cookies that grandma have in the big tins, the butter cookies. Anyway, we're walking south. We got about a 20 minute walk, so. See you then. All right. I have to film all the naked corbels. Check out this awesome plant pot. Also, Super Jesus. Well, it says right here, vlog on, so I think that's fine. So there's this place right behind me called Beastie Burgers, and the guys inside are working inside a van inside the store. How cool is that? This is called Denuis. Denuis? Is it saying the nose? Is it because his nose is so big? Maybe his nose nose. We were just passing by outside, and I just saw this. It looks like a pommel horse, but it's literally a pommel horse. Like, they've changed it into an actual horse. <laughs> Next. So two things that we're already noticing about Antwerp. One, the cars stop for all pedestrians without fuss. At a zebra crossing. At a zebra crossing. So they just always respect, even if you're just standing a couple of feet away, they slow down and let you cross. For example, lovely gentlemen, thank you very much. Second thing, which is probably even more important, when the trash cans are full, people don't just throw shit on the ground. Like, they it's just move on to the next one. Like, I'm looking down the street, I don't see a piece of trash anywhere. Yo! Like, there's still trash near the center, like, in the touristy areas, because tourists can be slobs, let's be real. But let's also be real, it is incredibly windy. So they've done a very good job, just being nice and orderly and, you know, tidy. Good job, Antwerp. They need our approval, I know they're just dying for it.
came back over to the water feature outside the museum and they're emptying it. You can actually see the texture of the plates here where the water was. Really cool. Don't walk on it. This beautiful fountain here. And then as you come to the right side of the building over here, they have this entire garden just full of statues. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extent. So either they have really picky moles that are like, we don't like that side, or they're doing some weird aeration thing. On the back side, you've got these dudes. Sada. Oh my God, Madonna, we were just thinking about you. Get your tickets today. You guys, look at this house. That's a boat coming out of the little balcony. The whole place is so cute. Let's go get a closer look. Can you imagine having your coffees on the boat? And then right across the street, they have on the building, there's more boats. Is, but I want to watch it so bad. Look how gorgeous this place is decorated. Like, what is happening? It is stunning. That was so cute inside. It was condensed goodness. Hello, Boris. Hola. We watched this um, woman named Ala, and she has a channel on YouTube called The Dreaming of a Chateau. And she basically, she posts a video almost every day and she's been renovating this place for ages. But on if you Lake guys, Como. yeah, if you want, it's in Italy, in North Italy, near the Alps, in on Lake Como, which is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. Highly recommend. Which is why we watch her vlog. But she's so nice and fun and just upbeat. And she's been working her butt off to finish this place. So if you guys are looking for more YouTube stuff, do that. The end. Is it a bird? What is it? What do we think? I plan actually to, to move to, to London. Oh, to yeah. To live there. Not. Uh, uh, exactly London and, and, and UK because, because now I have the Belgian nationality oh yeah so I can move there but it's uh, I don't have information so anyway I hope uh, uh, a nice residence for you here in Belgium yes. have a nice day you too and Bye -bye. Uh, uh, happy holidays beautiful holidays for you all thank you you so, too Oh, Toby, stop. I legit thought this was a person standing here. Look how realistic it looks. Okay, we'll go touch him. Go touch him. Go touch him. Mm. You're not real. You guys, Santa is into extreme sports. I had no idea. We are back at the place after walking around extensively and Kimball is just now looking at the chocolates he got. Let's see what you got, Kimball. What a cute little tin. I love that. That is so pretty. Okay, that's better. So which flavors did you get? Pistachio, chocolate ganache, almond, and cappuccino. Lovely. Yum! So we just realized that we've had all this time in Belgium and we haven't had any authentic Belgian food at all. Well, <laughs> I had those chocolates. That's true. So we were like, okay, well, let's find a good place to go. So we're going to go and get cheesesteaks from Philly. Okay, so let's go. The classic cheese. This is why we came to Belgium, guys. Was it a Philly cheesesteak original? No, but it was very good. I'm stuffed. The bread was really good. It was very crunchy, and as I was eating it, it was breaking into little pieces, and I was trying to hold it all together. I don't think it was very successful. I was really trying to hold it together. But you, would, you Kimmel got a truffle chicken. Yes. With mushrooms. It was really good. Whoa, it, it was, was really good. I got about halfway through, maybe, 
and it had about four onion, like little onion rings. <laughs> I'm so bad. So if you guys want to taste a Philly, go to Philly. But if you want a really good cheese sandwich with meat, go there. All right, we got these little, what are they called? Something chocolate with something inside at the Christmas market right there. And we're going to try them out. We've never had them before. I think it's like a marshmallow filling inside. Let's find out. It has the vibe of a tea cake. Yum. I wonder what's on the bottom. Mmm. <laughs> It's kind of like a marshmallow fluff inside, right? Mm -hmm, but it's not like gooey. No, it's like a little more grainy or something. I'm sure it's healthy. Mine's almost flavored like like a sweet almondy flavor. They're both really good. I didn't realize, but the bottom is actually a wafer. Yum. Oh, wow. Where did it go? All right, so it's the next morning and we just got back from grocery shopping. And the reason we went grocery shopping is because tomorrow is Christmas. And is there anything gonna be open? We don't know. We've played this game before where we had to find like some random convenience store and our Christmas dinner was like stale breadsticks and old meat. Yeah, yeah you don't wanna, so. you don't, don't play that game. So, so let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, Antwerp Grocery Hall. Kimball, are you ready for a food Explain haul? Explain yourself. Bruschettina. Um, well, I got some dips, meats and cheeses and I like snack food cause like times. Okay. Do I have to start over? Yeah, sure. Kimball, explain yourself. Bruscatina. I don't know how to say it. Um, anyway, I like snack foods because uh, growing up, we always had like snacks throughout the day before the big dinner. Um, okay, this is gonna take way too long. Okay, we got some breads. Yeah, we got some crackers. Some nice crackers. Worries. More crackers. We need. You never have too many crackers. Well, they're all, they travel well too. This is my salad. Ooh, that's nummy. Is that for lunch tomorrow? Probably. Christmas lunch. Mm -hmm. And then we got some dip. For all those crackers. And then we couldn't find organic strawberries, so we got organic strawberry jam, because that's just as healthy. These, I don't know. I've never seen these in the States. They're pumpkin seed and cheese crackers. Yeah. But like, so did good. you ever look for them in the States? I don't think you did. I didn't. We got eggs. eggs. Yum. We got this bread. It was the most artisan looking, crusty, yummy bread we could find in the store. So that looks yummy, and it's organic. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Uh, got some little meaty things oh for the gosh. crackers. Yum. Yum, yum. Got a big old tub of Greek yogurt. The size Why? of Kimball's head. Are we doing everything to the size of my head? Why not? I don't know. This is weird. Uh, cheese platter. Also, okay. Here's Rockies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't mix it all up, bitch. That's what you keep doing with my stuff. Um, so this is, uh, <laughs> it's like meat, stewed meat with potatoes. <laughs> Christmas dinner, yum. And then this is my Christmas lunch. It's a salmon salad. Cause you know some health and that's the haul y'all but today is the 24th of december i know you're probably watching this in march or something maybe april i don't even know but um we're not probably going to go out too much because it's just a downpour of rain all day and it's super windy and we our, might go for waffles at the christmas market yeah and our bodies are kind of aching so we're just gonna chill Bye. it's gonna be an edit day and um yeah we're gonna have a good time Got that. Okay. Got that. Well, that's it. So Antwerp, what do you think? Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Antwerp. It was lovely. Lots to do. Lots of friendly people. Delicious food, of course. And not to mention, our hair looks great here. It, I mean, the wind was a bit crazy. Uh, the Christmas markets were fun. The churches were pretty. Lots of statues to look at. Lots of touristy fun interactions. I don't know. Roll, Kimball. Oh, I really liked it. And my hair just looks awful. And it was ever windy, ever gloomy, and we loved it all the more. So yeah, we hope you guys get a chance to come visit here too. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to say thank you for joining. We hope you have a beautiful week and we will see you in the next adventure. Bye lovelies. So let's get up and go. It's just you and me again. Merry Christmas, everyone. I just wanted to say hi from beautiful Antwerp where the church bells are the theme to Jaws. Listen. Everything's choices, okay?